I will donate you to the altar. I will donate you to the altar, he says. So Ian Genesis is not happy with one particular publication that's been publishing negative things towards him. So he made a video in response to them. As you can see in the title, yeah, we're going to hear where he says what you are seeing in the title. The Structure the Show, the Daily Christian Commentary videos. Take it over. As you are commenting, as you are sharing, mm. I'm not a prophet because somebody made me a prophet. I am a prophet because God called me a prophet. There are a lot of spiritual directions that I know. And you hiding behind a Facebook page to fight me is very dangerous for you. Okay, there are many directions you can go to cause you problems. Oh, okay. Very, very, very dangerous. I am the person that people come to if they want to fight somebody spiritually. That's not a prophet. And that's not a Christian. By that description... Yes, people don't come to, like people come to you to fight people spiritually. That's not a pastor. That's not a prophet. That's what happens with Babalaos. Remember, we fight not against flesh and blood. So how are people coming to you to fight people, flesh and blood? I don't understand that part. It's, that's completely not biblical. Like you can't even get that from the Bible anyway. Continue. I want you to understand that. I am the person that people come to if they want to shape somebody's destiny. It is God that does that. It's, it's not a human being. No human being shapes another person's destiny. Okay? Uh, you can try and destroy a person, but you don't shape their destiny. It is God that does that. But anyways. I am the person that people come to if they want to destroy somebody's destiny. You want to test powers. Is all right. You can test powers. There is a problem in the nation of Zambia because when we remain quiet, people believe that we are ordinary people. We are ordinary people. We just saved people. If, if, if it was a Christian conversation. At the moment, I, I'm not sure what, what's going on. I'm not sure what he's talking about at, at certain points. Yeah, but I'm a Christian. I'm a normal person. The only difference is that I am saved. That's the only difference. I am saved. I have a relationship with God. That's the difference between me and an average Joe who's not saved, who doesn't care about God. That's the difference. When we remain silent, people believe that there is nothing we can do about it. The moment I decide to handle you spiritually, you will not understand what has hit you. Now, if you remember my discussion with Air Konaba, you should remember this is the thing we spoke about. To say... They ref there's this thing of prophets referring to themselves as spiritual, okay? And so, and we think maybe it's just that, you know, they are born again, they have a spiritual, you understand? But it, it sounds like something else. I'm not the kind of person that reports pe people to the police. So the moment you begin to scandalize my name, the moment you begin to scandalize my image, you need to understand that at, from that point in time, it has become a spiritual battle. The question I have for you, Zambia Accurate Information, are you ready? That's the page that is kind of at war with. For a spiritual battle. Are you fortified enough for a spiritual battle against me? I want you to understand that. I want you to understand that when you enter the house of a strong man, you must bind the strong man faced. Uh, the reference about a strong man, it's uh, actually a Bible reference to where there's Jesus. You know, the, the strong man of the house is Jesus. It wasn't meant as in reference to a worldly application, like to say, I am the strong man, you have to bind me. No, it was making a reference to Jesus. When Jesus is there, he is the strong man of the house. But uh, in this particular case, what he's saying is that he is the strong man. Okay. Touching me is like touching poison. You don't know. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Many people have tried to attack me, both physically and spiritually. They have not succeeded. The moment you decide to start fighting against me, you must think of two things. Number one, which is very important. 
Are you spiritually fortified to fight me? When you begin to fight me, you must think about the second thing. Are you financially equipped to take a spiritual journey when I begin to fight you? Because when I begin to fight you, you must be ready to be financially equipped to go to people that will fight on your behalf. If you are making posts so that people will do Facebook like, congratulations. The moment I fly from Zambia and I fly to Ghana concerning you, you are gone. Okay. Uh, God, you know, remember John chapter number four? I keep referencing that because it's very crucial. God seeks them that worship him in truth and in spirit. But this idea of a God that has a location. I'm telling you, Zambian accurate information. Zambian accurate information. I already know the people behind that block. I already know the people behind that block. I will donate you to the altar. I will donate you to the altar, he says. I'm saying this on Facebook and everybody is listening to me. Zambia accurate information. The person that is behind, I will donate you to the altar. Now, okay, that's enough. You can go watch it. Uh, you can search for it on YouTube. Just search for Prophet Iron Genesis Zambian blogger. The video will pop up. Uh, we don't donate anybody to the altar. That implies killing. That implies like, you know, you'll die. <laughs> like the whole thing. Uh, that's like uh, the ch what the children of Molech, that whole thing of the children of Molech, they committed their kids to the fire, what not. That's not Christian. Uh, when, 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 the, when the disciples came to Jesus, wanting to fight the people that were opposing Jesus' ministry, Jesus says, you don't know of what spirit you are, meaning it's not in line with his message. His message is bringing people to salvation. And so that's why I'm saying, Peza, I don't understand what he's talking about. There's nothing. I didn't hear anything Christian. Yeah, he's very clear about what he is all about there. No, he will donate you. <laughs> They'll donate you to the world. <laughs> Find Jesus saying that. Find any of the disciples saying that. It's not a biblical portrayal of a minister of the gospel. The minister of the gospel is here to tell you good news, the good news of the cross. That's the thing. We don't have our reputation to save and what not. And someone said something better. You know, it's not about me. It's not about no. Because once I enter the, the, the subject, it, it, it easily becomes very a very carnal-based fight. We don't donate anybody to the altar. I don't have to travel to another country in order for me to pray spiritually. If I'm praying spiritually, okay, anyways. And the whole thing of, you know, fighting humans because they called you out on something and stuff like that. It's not how a believer reacts. You know, this particular thing. But anyway, like, maybe we differ. Maybe I'm not understanding something. Y'all guys can tell me. It's like reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. What we do here, it's called the biblification of a Christian mindset. There are people that might believe this is sound. So we have to clarify why it's not sound. So you would have had the references I made in, the, in between the video to say this is not when the Bible says we fight not against flesh and blood and you are fighting against flesh and blood, something is wrong with your idea of theology. When you want to donate people to the altar, the same way the, uh, the apostles came to Jesus wanting to donate others to the altar, <laughs> they wanted to bring fire down. Jesus says you don't know what spirit. So already that tells you doctrine is not straight. Yeah, no, we must be, as here we stick to doctrine. Yeah, we don't defend anybody because we don't know anybody. <laughs> People decide to do their own thing. As here, we defend the gospel. Clarity of the gospel. You don't donate anybody to the old. That's not... Does it, does it sound Christian to you? I don't know. Maybe. Y'all tell me down in the comment section. Other episodes done today, they'll be done in the pink comments. So check them out and I'll see you later. <laughs>